Welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. Today, we're making boutonnieres just in time for homecoming season. We learn how to do this using the library's Creative Bug service, which is an online service that has thousands of arts and craft classes that you can take with your Bettendorf Library card at no charge. Let's see what's in our kit. So in our kit, you're going to find, first of all, a flower. So we used, we're using straw flowers for these. And of course, we had to send you dried flowers, right? But everything that you're learning today can be used for fresh flowers as well. So if you want to do something, a different kind of um, boutonniere with fresh flowers, you can. Um, it might be a little easier in that fresh flowers are more pliable. On the flip side, could be a little trickier because they might be more like too pliable, might get a little floppy, in which case you might want to invest in a little bit of floral wire and you can wrap your stems to stiffen those up. But we're using straw flowers, we're using dried baby's breath, and then we're using silk leaves. So again, we had to go with what we could package up and send home to you in a kit, but all of this can be done with fresh flowers. You'll also find a short length of floral tape. So floral tape usually comes in green and brown. I don't know, you might be able to get it in other colors. I went with brown because it kind of goes with our the colors of our dried flowers here. Floral tape has adhesive built into it. So when you pull it, see it turns a little bit whiter there, and then that makes it stickier and it will stick to itself. So that's floral tape. And then I also gave you a short piece of raffia ribbon. This is actually quite a bit more than what we will use, but um, just in case. So that's what's in your kit. All you need to provide is a pair of scissors, and then um, when it comes time to put your boutonniere on someone, um, a pin to pin it on. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the thing to keep in mind with these boutonnieres is the design rule of three, which is that things in groups of three, or in fact, in, in groups of odd numbers, are more pleasing to the eye. It's a more balanced composition. So we're starting with our accent flower. So that's going to be our big straw flower. And mine, just the way it is, has kind of a, a flat spot here. So that's what I'm going to make the back. If you want, you can pull some of these petals off if they're kind of getting in the way of where things are hanging um, or where they're setting. I'm gonna take my leaf, so this is the second in our design element of three, and I'm gonna put it right up against where I want that to go, right against that flat spot that was on my flower. Now, you'll note that I'm holding these right up at the base of the flower. That's where I want everything to come together. That's what's going to make these stay upright and not get floppy as, as the night goes on. Now, since we have fake leaves, silk leaves, and they have a wire stem, if you want, you can just wrap that around and it holds them together quite nicely. One of the advantages to working with artificial flowers. So that's two of our three elements in our design element, in our rule of three. So now we're gonna add the third one and I'm going to take these little bit of baby's breath and I'm just gonna put it in here on the side. Now I've got an extra little piece of stem here. So I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna snip that off. Pretty low though, because I want the more stem you have, kind of the easier it is to manipulate this as you're putting it together. And I'm just gonna put it here kind of in the background till it's where I want it to be. I can move my leaf around a little bit. And then again, I'm gonna hold it right up at the top. Now that makes this a little clumpy for me, a little too much going on right in there. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna take some of these out very judiciously. Well, and I'm gonna to have to use my scissors. Just one here, one there. I want it to be a little bit more airy looking. Take that one off too. And I don't want any of these kind of bare stems in there, so I'm gonna take those out. 
Okay. Take one more. So now it's not such a clump of flowers. You can see more individual flowers in there. And I'm gonna try that again. Put it in there and get right up at the base. And you just have to kind of move them around a little bit so that they, they're positioned the way you want them. I like that much better. And actually there's one more down here. I'm gonna take that one off because it's just kind of getting in the way. There we go. So not too many, just a little bit, just to give it a little pop of color, a little added dimension, and have that rule of three going. So we've got our arrangement the way we got it, and I'm going to snip off part of the stem of my flower so I can get this in here better. And you can see that now, holding it right up here at the base, I'm going to take my floral tape, and I'm gonna put it there, and I'm going to wrap it around. I'm gonna wrap it as tightly as I can three or four times. And this is where with a dried flower you wanna be careful because if you are not careful with how you're manipulating the stem, it could break and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna go around nice and tight. If you pull it nice and tight, it will stick better because that releases more of the adhesive. And then instead of cutting it, I'm just gonna Tear it, and these jaggedy ends seem to stick to themselves better, in my experience, than a cut end. So there we have that. Now you'll notice I didn't take the the floral tape all the way down. I just took it. It's right there at the base, and it's nice and as tight as I can make it. And then we're going to cover that with our raffia. So we're gonna take our raffia, and you'll see the raffia is not very thin, or very thick, right? It's too thin to cover the whole tape. Let me show you a neat little trick that's usually the case with raffia ribbon. Is that it's, it's folded up. So I'm gonna actually unfold mine. I'm gonna cut off about half of it. And then I'm going to put tie that around my flower. And I'm just going to do, you know, if you wanted to, okay, so again, variations. We always like to give you variations, right? You could take that and you could wrap your whole stem all the way down. I'm looking for something a little more rustic with this particular design. And so I am going to just do one simple knot And bring it right up to the top here so that it's right over the tape and just pull it as tightly as I can. Okay, that is a lot of ribbon for a not very big boon here. <laughs> so now we're just going to trim that and I'm just going to trim it on the diagonal. Now when you're trimming these, start long, right? If you're not exactly sure how much you wanna take off, take off just a little bit. And assess. I still think it's too much. I'm gonna take a little bit more. And you'll keep doing that until it's done. You can always take more off. You can't put it back on if you take too much off. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna take just a hair more. Just a, just a scoosh. Okay, I like that. Okay, now our stems here are obviously too long for a boutonniere. I'm going to unwrap my wire from the leaf. And then I'm going to trim these, and I'm gonna trim them about there. So the stems will be sticking out just a little bit from underneath the wreath 
and everything, or the, the ribbon and everything. And again, that, that keeps your, your tape from taking over the whole thing, sort of. Um, it just, I like the look of the bare stems, but you absolutely, in this case, if you're doing something with, with fresh flowers, if you have like a rose and rose leaves or um, leather leaf or something like that, you might want to use, say, a velvet written ribbon or a satin ribbon, and you might want to cover those stems. That is entirely up to you. It's up to um, whatever your aesthetics are, whatever fits with what you're doing. So remember, you can do these with live flowers. If you want to do more, you can. You could add more accent flowers, but I would keep in mind that an odd number of elements of your primary elements is what's going to work best. So please share with us your boutonnieres. We'd love to see them. And we'd like to thank the Bettendorf Public Library and Quad City Bank and Trust for sponsoring this take-home workshop.